Hello, everyone. Welcome to the World Baseball Association of 2024. And as we're nearing near the end of the regular season uh, for this week of September 14th, all the teams have uh, basically played 142 games so far, and we'll be playing the 143rd uh, for the next installments of the Game of the Week uh, baseball games. Today, we're going to take a look at what's going on in the league, what the standings show, uh, and the wild card uh, races that are currently on right now, which teams are hot and which teams are not. As we take a look at the Casey Stengel League, we're going to look at it division by division. New York leading comfortably by nine games over Massachusetts. They've won three games in a row, and their magic number now is at 12. As they're looking to sort of get closer to that magic number, wrap up the division. Kentucky's making a bit of a run. Uh, Rhode Island has moved up to 571 and 71. Uh, Kentucky has what eight out of the last 10 now. They're 18 games out, of course, but they're, they're still far away from Massachusetts. But they're going to try to make a run for a wild card spot. Massachusetts having lost three games in a row now. In the Atlantic Division, Maryland comes off the up with an 8953 record. Pennsylvania has seen a, a five game win streak. And Indiana see the five game losing streak. And they're tied at 77 and 65 as they're in the thick of the wild card race. New Jersey, having won a game, having lost four out of 10, though, they're 72 and 70, five games back of Pennsylvania, Indiana for wild card spots. And looking to have a good week here as we near as we're 20 games away from the end of the regular season. In the Southeast Division, you got Florida, Georgia, and North Carolina, North Carolina losing their last games. However, Florida up by three on uh, Georgia and eight on North Carolina. That's been uh, really playing well. Alabama's at 12 games back here as they got an outside shot to a wild card. Uh, but Georgia's been playing slightly better. They're trying to keep pace with Florida. Those two teams are constantly at each other's, uh, nipping at each other's uh, feet here. Looking to secure division title and maybe even a wild card. As we look at the final division of the Casey Stengel League, Ohio obviously um, scheduled to win the their the Mid North Division. Their magic numbers at four games, at ninety three and forty nine, which is the best record of the Casey Stengel League. They're going to say they want to be able to finish healthy. They finish strong and uh, get ready for another playoff push. In the meantime. Uh, Iowa at 76 and 66 is looking for a wild card spot. They're one game out. As we take a look at the uh, wild card here, take a look at the wild card standings in the Casey Stengel League. Obviously, you have the four division winners in Ohio, New York, Maryland, and Florida that are seated one through four, but then five through eight is uh, quite an interesting race. Georgia up by five in the first wild card spot. Massachusetts up by four in the, their wild card spot. Keep in mind that they've lost three games in a row. And instead of making uh, creating some distance even further, uh, they've made things quite more difficult here. And they, they put their opposition closer than they should have been. North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Indiana. So we have spots number three and four that are up for grabs here. And you got teams that are six games back. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teams that are vying for the last two playoff spots here. North Carolina at 77 and 65. Pennsylvania at 77 and 65. They've won five games in a row. They've been in a wild card spot they, for most of the summer. They've pushed themselves out. They're right back in with a five game win streak. Indiana has pushed themselves out of a wild card spot. After being second coming for most of the year. And what that means is, is that Iowa is a game back. Alabama is four games back. New Jersey and Kentucky at 72 and 75 games back. The Rhode Island Rebels at six games back at a 500 record. But they, again, seven out of 10 wins. Kentucky's won eight of 10. And they've earned themselves at least an outside shot of uh, doing something meaningful. For now, today of the, of the year, it would, could you imagine if you have Rhode Island or, or New Jersey 
overcoming the odds here and uh, making the playoffs. That would be something. We take a look at the standings now, the Casey Stengel League. And obviously, in the first two divisions, I don't see there's uh, it's a no-brainer so who's going to win the division. California at 99 wins and 43 losses. Uh, the magic numbers at four. They will most likely win their division this week. The question is, is the team is behind them? Can they make do something significant to put themselves in a in a in a wild card spot? New uh, Desert City at eighty two and sixty, an incredible, very good record by the way, not incredible. The seventeen games back of California, uh, but they're looking to secure a playoff spot. So is Washington, Oregon, and uh, Rocky Mountain at seventy seventy two have lost their last three games each and have pushed themselves out of a playoff spot as a result. In the Southern Division, Texas, having already secured the first team to secure a playoff spot, as a matter of fact, they secured it uh, a few days ago. 113 wins, 21 losses, 9-1 record. Um, we'll see who they're going to wind up facing. Missouri have won six games in a row, 9 of 10. Have pushed themselves up to uh, an 81 and 61 record. They're pushing themselves to a wild card spot. Louisiana's won three in a row. They're now 78 and 64. Oklahoma has lost two. They're at 73 and 69. At the Caribbean Division, four competitive teams, obviously. Venezuela, 87 and 55. They've won two games in a row now. The Dominicans have slipped a bit. They've lost four. They've lost six at 10. They're still 85 and 57, two games out. But they have to contend with Cuba's one eight of ten. They're three games back, but the Cuba's one game back of the Dominicans. Puerto Rico's not one seven of ten. They're seven games back of Venezuela, but they're five games back of the Dominicans, and that's something crucial when we're talking about the wild card spot. And in the uh, international division, Japan is still up by four on Canada. Uh, Canada's been, been able to play five hundred baseball. Japan has lost seven of ten, and they've been able to. Uh, catch two games on them. So from six or down to four. Question is, will they be able to make any ground? Because they're playing against Canada's going to want to play against very top teams uh, from now to the end of the year. If you look at the wild card, it's interesting because you have Oklahoma and Washington are eight games out uh, of a wild card spot. And then it gets a little bit closer. Oregon. Rocky Mountain, Arkansas, 70, 70 and 72. 11 games back with 20 games left. High probability, not slim to none chance that they won't get there. The Dominicans have 85 wins are, have the first wild card. So let me take a look. Let's take a look at the wild card uh, board. So Texas at 113 wins has are the first seed. California, 99 wins the second seed. Venezuela, 87 wins the third seed. Japan, by default, winning their division uh, with a sub-500 record of 63 and 79, the fourth seed. The Dominicans at 85 wins are the first seed of uh, our, the first wild card. Cuba, a game back, the second wild card. Desert City, the third wild card at 82 wins. Missouri, having shot way up in the standings, have now secured the fourth seed. Puerto Rico, one game back of Missouri, Louisiana, three games back of Missouri. He got Oklahoma to Washington, eight games back. So this is what the standings looks like so far at 142 games. In terms of the games that will be played in this and the games of the week, there are some pretty good ones here. The one we'll be mostly taking a look at here is New York at South at North Carolina. Jim Palmer at 16 and 7 to face Madison Bumgarner, who had a great start last time, but a struggle overall this year at 9 and 11. There's a whole plethora of games here that are available at the 143 game mark. In terms of the South, in terms of the Casey Stengel League, you have Desert City at the Dominican Republic, you have Washington at Puerto Rico, you have Oklahoma and Venezuela. California at Cuba. Yeah, uh, but so those are your type of games. Most likely the second game of the game of the week doubleheader. We'll see Desert City 
at 82 and 60 on a road of a 38 and 35 record to face the Dominican Republic at 85 and 57, a 46 and 24 record. Gary Gentry, 12 and 11 with a 3.51 ERA, will face Francisco Liriano, 16 and 6 with a 3.30 ERA. Well, this is the recap for this week. At the 142 game mark of the World Baseball Association, we hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we look forward to um, issuing out the two games of the week uh, for the Casey Stengel League and the Connie Mack League. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Uh, please follow on YouTube at the World Baseball Association, and I will see you next time. Enjoy and take care.